We have to act now. There is no question of waiting or delaying or deferring action. If we don't protect the environment, all the sustenance for human existence itself will end. 30% of the world's land area is covered by forests. We need to ensure that the lungs of the earth are not reduced in any way. Red, as part of the solution. In order to avoid the worst risks of climate change, we should be aiming to hold temperature increases to two degrees centigrade. Deforestation and forest degradation is a source of 16 to 20 percent of greenhouse gas emissions. For us to be able to contribute to lessening greenhouse gas emissions, we have to stop deforestation. Tropical forests store 25 percent of terrestrial carbon. Not only that, but they are in fact sucking in, in other words, absorbing a 15% share of the amount that we emit, 32 gigatons every year. The sad thing is that, of course, we are losing these self-same tropical forests, and that instead of being a huge mitigation engine, they've become a source of emission thanks to deforestation. RED is a scheme that will put a stop to deforestation in tropical forests by assigning a financial value to their carbon store, supporting conservation and sustainable forest management so it becomes more attractive than the alternatives. It's essentially a switch of a paradigm that we're talking about. Land use practices need to change from unsustainable practices such as logging, slash and burn agriculture, practices that are not compatible with forest conservation. And in order to do that, forest communities need to work with governments as much as governments need to work with forest communities. Forests are critical to the livelihoods of an estimated 600 million people. If effectively distributed, funds from RED will reward them for their role as protectors of the forest and provide alternative jobs and sustainable sources of income. RED has a very powerful role to play in putting the right kind of incentives in place so that trees are indeed more valuable standing than cut down. It shouldn't be seen purely as a technical or a mechanical exercise by which we reduce deforestation, but it should be seen as something much wider, which essentially looks at the interests of the communities living off the forests. There are some examples already in some areas, like for instance in Costa Rica, indigenous peoples and the forest peoples are able to benefit because they are paid for sustaining the forest. It's very crucial that the involvement of indigenous peoples is ensured and that the rights to own, control and manage their forests are respected by governments and by the international community. $20 billion per year could curb 90% of global emissions from deforestation. The challenge for us as a world is to provide tangible support to the governments of the countries where the trees stand. We have to act on a coordinated front. We should have the developed world allocate significant funds in this direction because it is to the benefit of their future economies as well as to the benefit of the local communities and economies of the developing world. In fact, studies have been done which estimate that the value of ecosystem goods and services from the 100,000 odd protected areas on Earth are something of the order of four and a half to five trillion dollars per annum. That's four and a half to five million million dollars per annum. That's a huge amount of the economy. RED is an extremely effective way of ensuring that mitigation of greenhouse gases takes place. And it's very, very cost effective. If we do not act now, we will have cut down the last of our forests by the year 2100. I would encourage governments to take action now and to show leadership. Theirs is the first generation of leaders who have the chance to take decisive action and probably the last generation who have the option not to do so. We should not squander this opportunity to do well for us to ensure the survival of the next generations of people that are coming after us. Red is something that's totally achievable. The rewards are very clear. 
we have to push red as hard as we can. Red has to be an important part of all the mitigation measures. Let's move on and see that red is implemented as quickly as possible. We all share this planet together. Let's use it wisely. Red as part of the solution.